Police in Minnesota are suing the NFL for not being able to carry their weapons into stadiums while off-duty. By prohibiting licensed police officers from maintaining possession of their service weapon, the National Football League not only violates the law, but places the public and law enforcement at unnecessary risk while impairing the legal status of police officers, the very people willing to put their lives on the line to protect the public every day said a representative for the Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association. Add to that, the Minnesota Vikings will be playing at the University of Minnesota until the new Viking Stadium is built. And as one might expect, the university stadium isn't keen on bringing weapons inside. Now let me be very clear here, I'm not in favor of granting police extra rights, but this is a great example of how the police state eventually trickles down to the police themselves. And when we talk about the NFL, this is the same NFL who had snipers at Super Bowl 48 in the stadium and also the same NFL who banned an ad for Daniel Defense because it depicted, quote, firearms, ammunition, or other weapons. Meanwhile, Super Bowl halftime commercials are still filled with excessive gunplay and disregard for collateral damage. One of the major sponsors at the big game this year was Pepsi. Pepsi, who underwrites events pushing gun control. So to the police, the military, or anyone else being asked to participate in the gun grab, remember that once they have a generally disarmed populace, they're coming for your guns next. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. The police and National Guard going street by street, house to house. We need to make sure, too, that uh, whenever we knock on doors, people refuse to leave. We need to make note, call it in. They say there are no orders to use force, just strong persuasion, sometimes entering open houses with guns drawn and instructions to disarm anyone inside. You say guns, guns will be taken? No one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. Globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud we are the resistance you are the resistance you are the info war it is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media we are the true media the establishment dinosaur press is dying we are in an information war and we are losing that war join us at infowarsnews.com and present planet.tv members can share their memberships with up to 11 people by subscribing you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants join us at prisonplanet.tv